What's going on everyone? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can SSH into your EC2 instance. In the last video, I showed you how you can create your EC2 instance. And in this video, I'll show you how we can SSH into an EC2 instance. I'm using Mac, so this is going to work on Mac and Linux. And for Windows, we are going to create a different video where we use a tool named Putty. So that would be in the next video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So I'm going to go into my EC2 dashboard and then go into the instances you can see i have one instance of ec2 running here but i'm just going to launch another one for the sake of this video let's name it test2 server let's choose ubuntu as the ami and we are going to keep it to t2.micro and this is very important step because we want to ssh into our ec2 instance so we need a key pair file so we have two options we can create a new key, key pair file uh, or we can use an existing key pair file so if you have an existing key pair file and you want to use that then go ahead and use it but in this case i'm going to create a new one i'm going to name it test2 and since i'm on mac i'm going to choose the .pem format and i'm going to use uh, terminal to ssh into the machine so i'm going to click on create key pair and you can see this gets downloaded into my mac and then i'll leave everything as it is default and click on launch instance now as you know that uh, launching an instance takes a minute or two so let's just wait in the meanwhile what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this pem file i'm going to navigate where i downloaded it so this is the folder where i have downloaded my pem file and uh, i can open up my terminal as well and let's just navigate to this folder so in my case it is in users nuclear downloads aws so let me just navigate to that folder or you can simply take that file and drop it here and it will uh, kind of give you the path but in my case let's do it uh, the old way cd downloads slash aws so i am within the folder where i have downloaded my pem file if i do ls you can see I have both the PAM files here. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Let's refresh and let's see if our EC2 instance is up and running and it is up and running. So now let's click on it. And if we go here, you can see we have this key pair assigned at launch. So that is test two. So this is exactly the file that we have just downloaded. Now in order to SSH into this EC2 instance, we will click on this connect option. And you can see here we have many options. This one I already showed you in the previous video, but the one that we are interested in this video is this SSH client. So click here and you can see we have this step-by-step -step guide on how we can connect with our EC2 instance via SSH. So it says that open an SSH client, locate your private key file, then use uh, the key used to launch this instance is test2.pem. So it already automatically tells us that this is the name of the key pair file that you should use. Then it tells us to change the permissions of that key pair file and it says connect to your EC2 instance using its public DNS. So this is the public DNS. Then they give us an example command which is ssh-i, then the name of the PEM file, then the user which is Ubuntu and at the rate, the DNS name. Here it is. So we need to follow this guide. So if we simply take this command and go to our terminal, paste it, and run it and say yes you see we get this error which says unprotected private key file that's because we need to change the permissions of the file so let's go back copy the command and paste it right here hit enter now we have changed the permission of the test2.pem file now let's run the previous command again now you can see we have successfully sshed into our ec2 instance now you can do whatever you want to do here you can run an nginx server you can do whatever the hell you want to do and yeah this is it this is how you can ssh into an ec2 instance i hope you learned something new from this video if you did then this video deserves a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one until then peace out